Hey guys, uh, just wanting to give you an update and let you know what's going on here. It's been a couple weeks. It's uh, March 15th. This is uh, my ebb and flow or flood and drain hydroponic pepper table. Uh, I took all the other peppers that were in there and spread them out on this table. All these will be going outside for the garden here in about a month. Um, these will all stay in here and grow through the summer. So they're starting to get some height to them. They're getting pretty tall. And uh, I've got a couple peppers. It's a Hungarian wax pepper. Got a couple chili peppers back there. There's a bit more. Uh, a little green pepper. Anyway, they're they're growing. I uh, had a slight bug problem. We had some thrips that came with those strawberries I bought from Home Depot about a month ago. And I took all the plants that were on this table outside. And it's still the middle of March and it's been a cold winter and it's it's been kind of tough keeping them all alive, but they're out there. So I'll bring them in and out. But anyway, Here's the tomatoes. They're still growing. They're got tomatoes. There's a little brandy one. And these things are, well, about four feet tall. I've been cutting them down, cutting them down. Trying to keep them as short as I can. So, probably started these things a little too early. <laughs> All right, and then here is the lettuce raft that sits on the reservoir or the pepper table and it has 24 different actually five different but 24 total plants here's a new one the red iceberg see they've only been in here a couple days now and already have roots coming out through the bottom it's a great little thing all you do is sit and watch them grow you pull the, you're just floating on a rip styrofoam two inch styrofoam raft you can see they just sit and the roots will grow down into the water so probably one of the easiest way to grow anything I've ever done and then I've got some T5s up there that are taking care of the lighting and uh, they're all all the lights in here are on the same timer uh, I don't know if you've seen this yet, but it's just a dehumidifier I added. Um, I added it a couple weeks ago, and it helps keep the humidity right where we need it. It's on a thermostat. And right now it's 70 degrees in here, 55% humidity, so pretty dang good. And uh, I've already cut down two brandy wines. Those things took off. Yeah, they're still growing. I've got them growing all across the ceiling now. So, if you want to go see where the other plants went, uh, let's go check it out. Let's see. Here they are. They're still hanging in there. Basil's looking kind of rough. Cold weather, it's probably about, I don't know, 45 degrees out here right now. Pretty cold. I'm going to bring most of these in tonight. I think it's supposed to dip into the 30s. But uh, you can kind of see the bugs started getting, eating the leaves. Maybe you can see that or not. And I got some peppers out here. I bring all these in every night. Here's all my habaneros. I got three in down here. So there's a guy hanging out waiting for springtime. Uh, something kind of neat that I found out some way to get rid of those bugs is get tomato your tomato leaves or your whatever when you trim them put them in water and then the tomato plant has a uh, poison in it that the bugs don't like I think it might kill them too and you use that in a bug spray ward away the bugs that eat your plants it works pretty good so that's about it here in about a month, I'm going to grow tomatoes 
and peppers all around this fence here. I'm gonna put up some hog wire fence, which is six inch mesh, all along the fence and grow all those tomatoes inside. I have 30 total in containers on the ground there, 18 gallon containers. And they'll all be on a drip system. Let me zoom in. Over there where I'm, oh, I can't zoom in. Anyway, that's gonna be where all the water comes from. I'll have three trash cans over there feeding them just along a hose and tie them all up along the fence there. Anyway, things to come. So, uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.